Hey everybody, it's Into the Stars, and uh, in this morning's rabbit hole journey, we're going to cover a website that I stumbled upon, www.secretsinplainsight.com, and I was doing some research on 555, because apparently that is a number that is used in all movies. 555 is 666. So we're going to get right into the meat of this website here. Secrets in Plain Sight. It explains later in here um, what 555 could mean. There's actually a song too by Slip, Slipknot. Um, viewer discretion is advised. It's very demonic. Um, but part of the work that I do is no fear in investigating these things, exposing light on it so that you too can understand um, that the roots of this of the the evil pervades throughout our society. And uh, once you understand that, and once you understand that it is in all media, then you can make better choices about what part you will take in that media, okay? Now, um, we're going to cover this. This is an amazing website. It contains a lot of truth. I'm not saying that 100% of what we're going to see here is truth, but um, from what I have seen, um, we'll get right into it. I'm just going to kind of read. This post picks up where my last post left off and I was talking about the devil at the center of Rockefeller Plaza. I trust you know this quote. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of man, and his number is 603 score and 6. A score is 20, so the number of the beast is 666, and we all have seen that and come to that conclusion. It's common knowledge. Right across the street from Rockefeller Center in New York is 666 Fifth Avenue. It's an address. Now, as we move through this website, I want you to take notice of the three components that are repeated in iPad Goat 2. The three hearts on the chalkboard here, the three hearts on Jesus' chest. And this will all start to make sense later on in this uh, analysis. 666 Fifth Avenue was built by the Tishman family in 1957. There is a sculpture in the lobby called Landscape, Landscape of the Cloud. In 1989, Ronald and Nancy Reagan retired to 666 St. Cloud Road in the Bel Air District of Los Angeles. Nancy had the street number changed to 666. Reagan has six letters, each of three names, making 666. 666 Fifth Avenue used to have three sixes displayed at the top of the building, and its penthouse was occupied by the top of the sixes restaurant long gone now. Today, the building has the Citigroup logo on its top. Traveling from sea to shining sea. The number 666 reminds me of 666 Filbert Street, the address of the Peter and Paul Church in San Francisco, which is known as the Italian Cathedral of the West. 666 Filbert is featured on the front page of the Transamerica Pyramids website. Now here's some clarification on the Louvre. Speaking of pyramids, I analyzed the structure of the Louvre Pyramid and discovered it has 666 symbolic rhombi in its design, not beams of glass, as commonly and incorrectly reported. The Washington Monument is 6,666 feet in height and 666 times 666 at its base. Frank Albo discovered that not only is the Manitoba Legislative Building a replica of Solomon's Temple, but its central space measures 66.6 feet by 66.6 feet. Solomon received 666 talents of gold each year. A talent weighs 60 pounds. So, he did a math, did the math, and in today's gold prices, Solomon raked in approximately 1.11 billion. Independent researchers have valued the current assets of the Rockefeller family as high as 110 billion. This is interesting. The sum of the numbers 1 through 36 is 666, and the highest number of roulette on a wheel is 36. And this is interesting. This is what brought me to 555 equals 666. It says, I feel that 666 is somehow related to all nine repeating series of three digits, such as the 77.7 .7 square kilometers of 
Sergi Pentois, the London Eyes 444 height, where the fact that 555 feet equals 6,660 inches. 555 is 666. This is the original Apple computer. Computing the total number of rows or columns leads to 666. Speaking of com computation, the original Apple One computer sold for a very interesting price. The World Wide Web that I'm presently looking at with an Apple computer was invented at CERN. The English letter W is equivalent to the Hebrew letter WOW. So WWW is equivalent to 666 in terms of gematria and, and position within the Hebrew alphabet. The name Sergi is the mirror of Y. The French call the letters E Y, meaning the Greek or Pythagorean Y, which symbolizes choice between good and evil. The CERN logo also seems to suggest, suggest 666. And you can see that here. Six, six, six. Now it says here, among other things, scientists at CERN are working on anti gravity. This is my theory on how the pyramids were built. They had this technology back during the time of the pyramids. They were able to build these, move these large stones from far, far away. And it seems as though they are trying to recreate this technology. In January 2007, it says here, the Newtonian constant of gravity describes a new, more accurate measurement of Newton's gravitational constant. G equals 6.666 times 10 to the 11th power cubic meters per kilogram. says that Newton was both an alchemist and a grandmaster of the Priory of Sion who invented the first temperature scale that went from 0 to 33 degrees. Perhaps Newton's G is the, another meaning to the iconic Freemason Masonic symbol. The Scottish Freemasons do have 33 degrees after all. This is interesting. We've done some uh, work on Stanley Kubrick. He died on March 7, 1999 exactly 666 days from 2001. He was most famous for his movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. He died just four days after completing Eyes Wide Shut and many believe he was ritually murdered. Note the octagon with yellow astronaut as solar symbol resonating with the magic square of the sun. The, the telephone number President Nixon called to talk to Neil Armstrong first man to walk on the moon during the lunar landing of Apollo 11 was 666-6666. The sum of the heights of the building in the reconstructed World, Tra World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan is 6,666 feet. Secrets are encoded in plain sight because of the law of free will. As silence equals consent in the law, if you are not conscious of these secrets, then the elite have your consent to do any manner of evil. I do not give my consent to these things and welcome you to wake up and withdraw your consent to be ruled by secrecy. When more people awaken, we can actually do something about it. Isn't it about time?